In today's video, I launched an alternative version of the Memes Trojan. Can this version compete against the original Memes Trojan? And most importantly, how this version differs from the original one? To answer all of these questions, let's watch the video till the end and see what we got. Hey, hello everybody, it's me Cyber Soldier and welcome back to another Malware review aka Malware Demonstration. In today's video we're gonna take a look at the Malware called Nian.exe created by Adriano Tech. I suppose that most of you know about the memes Trojan. That Trojan created by Leurak which can torn the operating system apart. Well, at least that's what most people says. We're gonna kinda try the memes Trojan today, but this one is a bit different. It has some open features and ideas, so don't expect something worthless. In my opinion, Nian.exe could be an official memes Trojan Trojan if its creator chose a different approach. What I also know is that this malware was created in Visual Basics together with Net Framework 4.5 and because it uses framework programming language we are gonna also try to decompile it and see how this Trojan was actually made. But before all of that I have to tell you something very important. According to my statistics only few of you are subscribing. I spent a lot of time editing my videos. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel. It's totally for free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. Thank you very very much. Yo, look at this wallpaper guys. Is it is it amazing? I think for today's video I, I've chose a really cool one. Okay, so to make it clear, this file right here contains the 9.exe, as you can see right here. So we're gonna extract it right now. I think we can get rid of this file. We will not need this anymore. And we got the readme file, but I don't think that I think that I've I said everything important about this malware. Let's see what we got here. So this was a school project. Yeah, I, I forgot to tell you that this malware uh, will override the logon UI and master boot record, yeah, of course. Why does it wait that much? Okay, guys, so this malware actually waits something, okay? This one is very special. <laughs> Bro, files cannot wait anything. Files wait nothing. If you plan to run and test 9, you must not leak it or give it away. Happy testing. I will leave all credits, all author's credits in video description so you can support his channel and check out his Discord server. I think we got all the necessary information about this malware. So I think the readme file can be deleted right now. And the reason why you can see the memes Trojan right here is because I would like to first test it on virus total. I'm very curious how many antiviruses can recognize the 9 as a malware and also the memes Trojan. So this is the typical memes Trojan. Oh my god, look at the size. This is so tiny. Okay, so we can like compare this malware to the memes Trojan to the actual original copy of the memes Trojan. So let's compare it. Let's see what we got in properties. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so let's see the memes Trojan, okay? Look at the size. They are very different, okay? So this differs from the size, of course. Okay, so I think there's nothing much in properties. There's nothing interesting here. So let's go to the virus total website. And let's choose the file. I think we can only choose one file. Okay, let me try to choose both of them. No, no, I can, unfortunately. So let's first try the memes Trojan. And oh my god! Okay, so the reason why it is so easily detectable by a lot of antiviruses is because Memes Trojan is really old piece of malware, okay? I think it is from 2016 or 2017. I don't even know these antiviruses. These are just probably the worst antiviruses you can ever get. How many points will get Neon? Okay, let's wait. Hello? Is it working? Oh my god, what happened? Please, let me go! Oh my god, thank you! As you can see, the Nian got only 22 points. So it is still recognizable by a lot of antiviruses. I think Mims Trojan deserves one point. And boom! You are done. Now, Neon Cat. I'm really excited. This is the first time I'm trying this malware. Okay, so I think we are ready. Everything is disconnected. Even my share folder is disconnected. Okay. Okay, so I think without further ado, we can actually launch the Neon Cat and see what will happen to this poor operating system. Okay, let's see. This is the first time I'm running this malware. I hope this malware will, will not disappoint me. Okay, um, I'm actually afraid. Okay, don't be afraid. You are a cyber soldier, bro. This virus is really dangerous. Only run if you know what you are doing. Made for educational purposes only. The running of this malicious material oh. will make so that you will have to reinstall. Are you sure to continue? Well, I think I'm sure to continue. If you're gonna click on no, I think exiting. What do you mean? So let's actually execute this malware. Oh shit. 
Oh my god, this is very loud. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, what we got. <laughs> so every application is now infected by this nine cat. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Windows is now shaking. Okay, so let's see what we can do right now. Okay, can I launch the task manager? And I can still launch the task manager. Who is this guy? What is he holding? Is he holding the apple juice? Oh, so we got some sine wave effects, but really poorly rendered. Um, what the hell is happening right now? This is the end? No, keep going. But the song is cool. I like it. I like the song. But why are you opening so many calculators, man? Why? Why cal calculators? What's up with these calculators? Like, do you like math so much? For example, I don't... I hate math, actually. I don't like it. It's boring. It's difficult. But sometimes it's necessary as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. My computer is dead. That was really, really fast. So now we will probably see the infected Logon UI. You can only see the screen once before ultimate destruction. I'm assuming that I must just like hit the enter button oh and it's actually working okay so we got different song okay this one is really weird <laughs> okay so it will go like this forever can i get that window oh i can't because my cursor or i think my mouse has been disabled so i can do oh wait i can actually do oh ha huh, how about that how, how do you like it you fat ass cat how do you like it right now? Ha! Huh. Yeah, but it's cool. I like the animation, the bouncing effect. Like, amazing, amazing work. I'll give you that, man. I'll give you that. So, it's time for another reboot. Oh my god! This looks different. That's cool. That's impressive, actually. He managed to do that. So, yeah, big shout out to Adriano Tech. That's very cool. It looks cool. It looks cool and cute. Okay, so we are back. Malware detected. I don't give a shit. This fucking Windows Defender is so annoying sometimes. Okay, so my mission right now is to show you guys the main directory of this malware. Suspend it. Now we are free of these glitches, finally. Okay, so let's search for this directory. Okay, so this is the icon. Look at this. Okay, pan screen, wall waves. Okay, so bit image. What is this? Oh yeah, that's the wallpaper. What is the pen screen? Oh, that that's this. That's this thing. So yeah, that's how the malware works. Each of these applications will be launched by the malware itself. I don't know if it, this is the like the best way. It would be much better if you just made everything inside one application, but whatever. It works, so you know, don't touch it if it works. So guys, now is the time for decompiling this malware. Here we are in the jetbrains.peak and let me tell you that I've managed to decompile this pretty quickly. <laughs> so let's see what this, how this malware is made. So this malware is not protected at all. <laughs> bro, bro. Timer 1, timer 2, timer 3, timer 4, timer 5. This is not the best way to name the timers and not even like any variables, not even anything like in programming. This looks pretty bad. Look at this, look how many things are inside this one single function. This is crazy, oh my god, man. So yeah, this is the average Windows Phone application wipe. He hardcoded some of these file extensions, <laughs> which is pretty in inefficient way. Okay, it will get the access to this uh, system file. Usually you, you can just normally delete these types of files because they are, they are under a trusted installer and they are protected. But by these commands, you can get access to all of the files and you can just delete them like nothing. As far as I can see, everything is written in a one single Windows form application. That's not the best approach. That's, the, that's not the best way. This is the end. So yeah, guys, that's how this Neon Memes Trojan works. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and write a comment. Thank you and goodbye.